The 2015 All-Star Game features the four greatest living baseball players. Hank Aaron, Johnny Bench, Sandy Koufax, and Willie Mays, who are all absolutely amazing players in their own right. But I'm in the room sitting next to my grandfather, Yogi Berra. And I'm thinking, wait a second. He's got more MVPs than any of these guys. He's won more World Series rings than all four of them combined. And I look at him and I said, are you dead? And he said, not yet. One of the greatest World Series resumes of any player ever. Hey, he got it done. He was a winner because he had all the rings to prove it. He's the figure that was larger than life. There's no Jackie without the acceptance of Yogi Berra. When Yogi comes to the team, they say he doesn't look like a Yankee. He wasn't six foot three with blonde hair. Everything about him was kind of funny. He was a character. He was made fun of in the New York press. But that sort of became who Yogi Berra was, this funny little guy. That's right, Yogi Berra. I don't think Yogi liked it too much. The Yogi-isms. Let's talk about the Yogi-isms. He said, nobody goes to that restaurant anymore. It's too crowded. When you get to a fork in the road, take it. What? And it ain't over till it's over. It makes a lot of sense. That personality of his actually served to take away from his legacy as a baseball player. It always felt wrong. It's not fair to him. He's just a gentle, kind soul. He was loved by so many people in this country. Total respect for Yogi. A guy that everybody loved, not because he was cute and funny, it's because he was good and he was real. He was the most overlooked superstar in the history of baseball.